I'm the chairperson of the East Long Meadow Youth Safety Committee, and it is co consisting of school nurses, um, health teachers, school counselors, our superintendent, as well as the East Long Meadow um, Police Department, um, as well as the East Long Meadow Health Department. Um, so we meet regularly every month and we um, set up events to raise awareness and educate the community, parents, students, teachers on how to keep our children safe. And that could be anything from substance use and addiction to vaping um, to social media and just things that parents in the community need to know about. Mm -hmm. um, so on March 14th of uh, 2019 at 630, at East Long Meadow High School Auditorium, the Youth Safety Committee is having a presentation on vaping. And the presentation will consist of um, someone from the Hampton County Tobacco Free Partnership that's going to be sharing pretty much everything that parents need to know about what is vaping, um, what does it look like, and what are the dangers and harmful effects of the youth and adolescents using any kind of nicotine products and the damage that it could cause them developmentally as developing brain and adolescence. Uh, the event will also include um, information about you know, how to talk to your kids um, about vaping as well as in collaboration with the Hampton District Attorney's Office, we're gonna have the Youth Advisory Board, which will be a panel of current high school students that will share their perspective on what they see occurring right now in high school and what their experiences are with either um, being pressured to vape or seeing their friends vaping um, and just speaking from their experiences. Mm -hmm. And then we'll also have resource tables that provide resources for families um, as well as a you know table run by our resource officer who will be able to share um, some confiscated vaping like jewels, uh, e-cigarette devices that we have confiscated um, from students so that parents can actually see a sample of what those look like mm -hmm. um, because they don't look like you know regular okay. cigarettes yeah. you know they come in all shapes and sizes colors flavors um, and they'll be able to see that it could easily be mistaken for any other electronic device um, such as like a USB drive mm -hmm. so how did you guys come up with this as your focus for this presentation um, really it's been the like significant increase in teens vaping and in the past year in um, 2018, it's increased by 10%. Um, so there's been a lot of research that's been done on how this is an increasing issue for adolescents. And as educators, um, we want to get ahead of this and be able to not only educate students, but also parents. So we've been to quite a few trainings on vaping. Mm -hmm. um, and after going through these trainings, we decided that as the Youth Safety Committee, we wanted to put something on here in East Long Meadow as well to um, share with parents to kind of educate and raise awareness about the dangers of vaping. Mm -hmm. And is, so is vaping a problem in East Long Meadow schools? So vaping is a problem in all schools right now. So um, all the trainings that we have been to, um, it is something that, you know, 23% of students in high school, like 12th graders, are reporting that they have um, used vaping devices. So it's it's a problem in all schools in every town um, and it's something that we definitely want to get ahead of and that we want to be able to address with not only parents but with students as well. Mm -hmm. Do you notice it with just high school aged kids or do you think some middle schoolers are exposed to it too? Um, you know from what research is telling us right now eighth graders um, have also been exposed you know to friends who are vaping or the pressure of um, vaping we actually do a lot of surveys um, here as a middle school, and fortunately, like this year's results, um, the majority of our students have reported no use of vaping. Um, I can't speak for you know any statistics at our high school, mm -hmm. um, but we know that it's you know in every high school, and we know that research is showing that the majority of high school students um, 
you know, have had some experience with it, whether it's, you know, directly using or their friends that are using, it's just becoming the new um, nicotine addiction, not what it used to look like with cigarettes. Most students who are experimenting with this have never actually smoked a cigarette or experimented with cigarettes. Um, they are experimenting with vapes and jewels. Mm -hmm. And then just one last question, if, um, what's the protocol um, if you do confiscate a vape device? So I think every school has, um, you know, different protocol for addressing it. I know that here in East Long Meadow, um, you know, there is consequences. Um, each school, I think, would be different, and depending on the circumstances and the situation or severity, um, but there are consequences for students. And part of it, though, is also restorative practices, which means that not only are there consequences for students, but we then take it upon ourselves to be able to educate students. So that means you know, speaking with the school nurse, um, meeting with school counselors, um, educating parents. And our experience has been that um, you know, if there is an incident of a student um, you know, vaping or that we're aware of, we immediately take action with education. So if we know that, for example, we're having this event on March 14th, if something were to happen, part of restorative practice is that our administrators would require that the student and the parent involved um, attend, like have it be a mandatory thing that they attend this event and that we um, provide them with education. That mm -hmm. would be part of the consequence as restorative practices. And is the event just for East Long Meadow families? Or? So the event is open to the community. Um, the targeted audience would be parents, students, um, and just any adults that are working with adolescents, whether it's you know coaches, um, anything outside of school, grandparents, extended family. We want to get the message out to everyone.